I'm John O'Day. I was, I was a professor in the business department for Santa Barbara City College. I, I came to Santa, Bar to Santa Barbara in 1951 and as a teacher at Santa Barbara High School. And I stayed there for one year and I had the opportunity of moving to the City College and I took it. <laughs> it was probably one of, the, one of my better judgments. <laughs> from uh, 1952, which was when I was started at City College, to uh, 1985. If, you, if I've used the proper arithmetic, that's 34 years. In the early years, I was a classroom instructor for a business uh, subjects at the campus down on Santa Barbara Street at the 914, I believe it is, or something like that address which is just across the street from what is now the Presidio. And the Presidio is now using my classroom for a carpenter shop. <laughs> there are actually, I think, only three buildings there that was used by the City College for instruction. However, there is one other building there on that campus at the Alacama Theater. And I, we may have used that as a, um, a meeting place for, you know, for the teachers and the administration. And it could have been used by the students as well, I suppose, as a, as a recreation hall or whatever. It's at down on Santa Barbara Street. It was a very small classes. The number of students were very limited. And um, um, the classrooms were not really, my classroom and I suppose all the classrooms were not really designed for classroom uh, use, but that's what they were used for. Um, the, um, the, the, the instruction that we had, and when, one class I taught was, to, I was, I was teaching typing and business machines at the same time. So uh, at that time the computer was not available. I suppose if there were, I probably had been teaching that as well. <laughs> and then we moved, then we moved to the Riviera campus um, and that's one that's one phase of the of the moves the sec and the next phase was to move to this to the uh, Mesa now up on the Riviera the numbers of students of course increased Henry Baggish was also already up there with me and uh, John Flynn who was who was the uh, person who invited me over to the City College, left the City College at that time, and so uh, that's, uh, that, was, that was when I became department chairperson up there. Um, the drawback of, the, of the being on the Riviera campus was the condition of, and repair of the buildings. We could uh, expect when it rained that, it, that the roof would leak. And so we had to accommodate the equipment or whatever we had in the rooms with, uh, with that in mind. I think with every teacher, the favorite part is the students and, and, and what, you can, you know, what you can do for them. I, I especially appreciate that when they come back uh, and contact me wherever I am, they, they recognize me, but I don't recognize one, most, of the, most of them. But they come back and talk about going to the college and what they have made of their life because they were here and any other college that they attended. And that gives me great um, satisfaction. I believe that all of, this, all of the teachers uh, who were on the campus down at Santa Barbara Street, up on the Riviera, and over here at, uh, where they are now on the Mesa, I think all of them were important for the, in this college it's because they really helped this college being what they are, what, what it is. The fact that we moved from one location to another had its advantages. Um, at each of the locations, the, what was available to the students changed. For example, on Santa Barbara Street, we had no bookstore. We had no vendors for food. Um, we just had the offices for the, for the teachers. We had offices for the administration as well. And of course we had the normal um, 
toilets and that sort of thing, <laughs> if you want to use the word, uh, on campus. Then when we moved to the Riviera, we had all of the, all of the, incidentally, since there were two campuses down there on, on Santa Barbara Street, I may not have mentioned that, but there was a campus where we were on, a, I think it was in a, in a 900 block, 914 or something like that. I see it in some of the writings that Hank made, he calls the place where he taught, which is down the street in the next block. The college was renamed during the time, I believe we were up on the Riviera, and right, Bob? And that was important, but it was renamed from a junior college to city college or a community college. I don't know which of the two that they finally wound up with, but I guess city college is what it is now. Um, I like the Riviera because we had all of the, all of the course, all of the uh, instructional part departments were on one campus. And that wasn't true down on the Santa Barbara Street. We also had um, we we also had um, um, a, a view of the city and and the ocean, <laughs> which we didn't have on Santa Barbara Street. And we did we also had I believe I believe there might have been a, a, a distribution of books possibility on campus, whereas down on Santa Barbara Street, they had to get their books in a bookstore over on State Street. So there, it was, it was just a, you know it was coming together of a college, and it was a campus. 